Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of this axillary artery. First of all, we'll make a diagram. This is first rib, this is outer border of the first rib. Here is this is scapula and here is Humerus. And here is the attachment of the this is attachment of the teris major Takes origin from lower part of lateral border rod, scapula and inserted on medial lip of bicepital group. This is bicepital group, this is medial lip, this is lateral lip. Yeah, medial lip. Yeah, it's perfect. Now, axillary artery. Axillary artery is a continuation of subclavial artery. Here is subclavial artery. This is subclavian artery. This subclavian artery, this is this is subclavian artery. Here is teris major. This muscle is teris major. Teris major. This axillary artery extends from outer border of first rib to lower border of teris major. This point. This point to this point. From here to here. From here to here. This is axillary artery. So it is continuation of subclavian artery. And here it continue as brachial artery beyond the lower border of the major. This is brachial artery. So it is continuation of subclavian artery and continue below the tennis major as brachial artery. So actually artery extends from outer border of first tree to lower border of teris major and it is divided into three parts by a muscle which is attached to this coracoid process. This muscle is this muscle is pectoralis pectoralis minor. This pectoralis minor which is attached with the coracoid process, it divides this muscle into three parts. This is proximal to this muscle. This is first part. Deep to this muscle. This is second part. This is first part. This is second part. And third part between or distal to this muscle. This is proximal, first part, deep to this muscle, pectoris minor muscle, the second part, and distal to this pectoris minor muscle, 
from lower border of pectoralis minor to lower border of teres major. This is third part. So it has three parts. First, second, and third. Proximal, deep, and distal. And first part gives single branch, one branch, that is superior thoracic artery. This is superior thoracic artery. It gives supply to upper medial part of the thoracic region. This is superior thoracic artery. Superior thoracic artery. This artery is superior. And the artery. So first part gives only one branch, that is superior thoracic artery. And second part gives two branches. Acromial thoracic artery. Second part is deep part, deep to this muscle, and deep to this here. It gives the trunk which is known as which is known as acromial thoracic artery, and it passes upward just lateral to uh, just uh, above this superior border of pectoris minor it divides into four branches one branch goes towards the deltoid muscle this is deltoid branch and there is acromial branch acromial branch and this is clavicular branch and this is pectoral branch so this acromiothoracic gives four branches deltoid branch acromial branch clavicular branch and pectoral branch so second part gives two branches first branch is acromiothoracic and second branch is lateral thoracic this lateral thoracic gives a branch to lateral part of thoracic wall. And from here to here, this is third part, this third part of the axillary artery gives three branches. These are subscapular, subscapular, one branch is subscapular, this is subscapular, it gives a branch circumflex scapular passes towards the medial side between the teres major muscle and it gives supply to dorsal aspect of the scapula that is infra spinous fossa and anteriorly also it gives branch to subscapular fossa and other related muscles here is Another branch, this is anterior circumflex humeral artery. This is anterior circumflex humeral artery. It runs laterally, encircle the surgical leg of the humerus, and it anastomos with posterior circumflex humeral artery. The other branch, this is the this is posterior circumflex humeral artery. Anastomosis here. So, so anastomosis, there is anastomosis with anterior circumflex and posterior circumflex humeral artery. This anterior circumflex humeral artery gives a branch, ascending branch, which passes through this biceptal group and gives supply to upper part of the head of the humerus and this shoulder joint. And the posterior circumflex humeral gives a descending branch which anastomoses with ascending branch of profunda brachii. Profunda brachii. Here is profunda brachii. So it anastomoses with the ascending branch of the profunda brachii. And this posterior circumflex humeral artery. It comprises with a nerve. This is axillary nerve. This is axillary nerve. 
the posterior circumflex femoral artery, accompanied with axillinear, passes through quadrangular intermuscular spaces. And this axillinear here gives branch to deltoid muscle and teres minor muscle. Deltoid and teres minor muscle. So, these are the branches of the axillary artery. 